This is Mitraini, the Internet Small Art Music Music Nerd. On the 29th of January 1986, I sat in the Dominium Theatre on the Tottenham Road in London when the American composer Steve Reich took to the stage with a colleague and they started the concert by clapping and you could loudly hear the audience collectively groan with despair. But after a while, something wonderful happened. The rhythm they created seemed to start reversing like spokes in a wheel. It was just an entirely new way of composing and listening to music. As my interest in music has always lent towards the more experimental, once minimalism, otherwise known as systems music, touched my radar, it made perfect sense to me. But then again, two of my favourite albums as a teenager were Mike Oldfield's Tubular Bells and Gavin Breyer's The Sinking of the Titanic, both of which could be termed minimalist. Minimalism was a movement that reduced everything down to its, well, minimum and emerged in various arts such as painting, sculpture, and architecture in the 60s and 70s. And the music was recognized by phrases used like units, repeated and slowly altered to create often surprising rhythms and textures. And it equally appealed to both rock and classical audiences. Also, it owes a lot more to world music than serialism. In other words, it looked outside of the refined and ever more increasingly exclusive and elitist classical canon. In fact, Philip Glass was deeply musically impressed and influenced by his travels in India, and Steve Reich studied gamelan music in Indonesia and African drumming in, well, you guessed it. I think that what appealed to me is that it was experimental but not avant-garde, which are actually two separate things, as Wikipedia defines it. Avant-garde music may be distinguished from experimental music by the way it adopts an extreme position within a certain tradition, whereas experimental music lies outside tradition. So there you are. That was my Wikipedia voice. Much as I've always admired such avant-garde composers as Karl Heinz Stockhausen and Brian Fernerho, I've rarely taken them to heart. Their work often strikes me as in-your-face intense and shrill, forever stabbing away angles in all 12 notes of the scale, like an orchestra falling down the stairs. As Stockhausen himself described as his own music, as strange as finding an apple on the moon. Yes, and about as appetizing. That said, I can't help but love Cage, Ligeti, Messian, and Penderecci, all associated with serialism. One turning story about the birth of minimalism comes from Steve Reich himself. At music college, he was taught by the leading light of serialism, the great Luciano Berio. He said that as a New Yorker grounded in bebop, jazz and rock, he couldn't actually identify with a mostly European serialism. Also, that he felt more comfortable composing in tonal music. Much to Reich's surprise, Berio shrugged and said, if you wanted to write tonal music, then you should write tonal music. This isn't to say that Reich was in any way reactionary. On the contrary, his first breakthrough piece was out-of-sync tape loops of a man shouting, it's going to rain, it's going to rain, it's going to rain. All together now. What also appeals to me about much minimalism is its shifting repetition, bouncy references to similarly repetitive baroque, contemplation, East Coast playfulness, or figurative conceptualism. Mm -hmm. Also, its tonality and clear structures were a relief after the alienating ear-bending of the 50s and 60s. My own take on this branch of music, an example of which you hear here, is a hybrid I have termed organic minimalism. As you can hear, again there's the trademark repetition and clear progression, but because my playing is so untrained and uneven, Happy accidents occur in the recording, so that the emphasis on some notes leads to surprising rhythms and avoids the sometimes clinical feel of some minimalist performances. Also, I tend to work in layers and textures more associated with ambient music. I thank you for listening, value any comments and... Minimalism?
It's gonna rain, 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 it's gonna r